I'm Sabrina, and today we're going to make an 18-inch doll table to go with the chair from our last video. There is a materials list at the end of the video, as well as a Michael's item number that you can use in the item search bar to find things quickly. The first thing you'll need is a candlestick. When I made the painted table beside me, I used a 9-inch wooden candlestick from the Michael's store. However, when I last looked online, they only had these 6.75-inch wooden candlesticks coming in packs of three. To add height to the 6.75 inch candlesticks, there are three options. The first option is to use doll pins, of which you will be needing three or four. The second option is to use wooden spools. The ones I have are about one inch tall. For the top of the table, you will be using a wooden plaque. The one for this project will be eight inches wide. The plaque on the painted table is only 6.5 inches in diameter. To add stability so your table doesn't tip, you might want a wider base which you can make using anything round or flat of approximately four and a half inches in diameter. There are many things you can use for this base, including a circular piece of cardboard. I'm going to be using this plastic container lid, and in the painted table, we used a wooden circle we found at Michael's. Unfortunately, we did not find it online. Finally, you'll also be using wood glue, something heavy to weigh down your table while it dries, and newspaper to protect your work surface. To increase the stability of your table, you can add a larger base, such as a CD, or a Tupperware lid, or a circular piece of cardboard, something that is over 4 inches in diameter. The plaque for the table has a beveled edge, a large side, and a small side. The small side will be the bottom, so it's the side we'll be gluing on. If you were fortunate enough to get a tall candlestick, you would simply glue it to the bottom of the table, centering it as best you could, then wait for it to dry for 20 minutes. After this, you would flip the table over and put a can of beans on top and let it dry for another two hours. If you have a short candlestick, there are three ways to add height. The first way does involve sawing. In this method, you cut one of the candlesticks in the thinnest part of the neck here. As you can see, you don't even have to cut it straight. It fits into the top of the Glue the top of the candle holder to the center of the table. Now we can put it all together. The first non-sawing method for a short candlestick is to glue and stack four doll pins. The second no sawing method is to use wooden spools. When you use your spools, they should add approximately two and a half inches of height. I'll be using three of these one inch spools because they fit inside the candle holder. As you can see, they add two and a half inches of height. Glue the three spools and let them dry for two hours. Once your spools or doll pins are dry, you're going to glue them onto the candle pin. I'm going to be using the doll pins. Once that's drowned, go ahead and glue it onto the center of the table. Let it dry for 20 minutes, then flip it over and add a can of beans. And leave it to dry overnight. Now your table is done. Decorate, paint, and embellish as you'd like. Thanks for watching.